All right, just uh, sprayed them down with the Mammoth P can control. I'm not sure if that little, <clears throat> if that little spot I saw was thrips or what, but um, went ahead and sprayed it with that. Got the lights off. I also got the flower initiator going up top. Um, when I close the tent, I don't know. I don't know if it, if that's if I need to swap it and put that where this is, or if it's good up there and it shines, you know, around the tent. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing any good by having this big ass light block the initiator, but shit, we'll see. All right, so uh, just flipped last night. Yesterday was the first day of flower. They're looking pretty good. Um, they already look like they're starting to stretch. So, but what I wanted to come in here and show you, oh, well, clearly put the net up. So again, I'm only running one net. I'll wait until they hit the net, start weaving them through, and then work the net up as I can you know, if I can't control the stretch, I'll work the net up as, as they grow. And hopefully we only get to like 44, 45. That'll be the top of the canopy over here. So right now we're at 24. So if we stretch a foot, that'll be 36. So if we stretch a little bit past that, so maybe 45, that'll be good enough for the light to sit all the way up and I can adjust the, the power as needed. But man, those, this Blackberry Punch is looking great. Ready to take off. So I don't even know if I'm going to break or crack the branches just yet. I think I'm going to let them stretch a little bit, crack them, and then go from there. But I came in here because underneath the banana sickle, starting to get shrooms. So that's really really interesting uh, i think i had another one or maybe it it was that one and it looked really good yesterday and i kind of waited so um i saw it as the lights were about to cut off so i'm thinking well yeah because i was spraying the can control so i don't think i see any more but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let them stretch out a little bit and then treat it with another spray of can control next week and then possibly the second week as well it depends i might push it up a few days so it might be a week and five days a week and four days but definitely going to get one or two more sprays of can control on here just to prepare me for flower i haven't treated these since um this is my first time treating them with the can control so I kind of like messed up on that. I had the bottle sitting over there the whole time. So I could have mixed it, but I think I didn't spray it because the plants were so low. I can't even get underneath. Um, but like I said, I think I saw a little thrip damage back there. So uh, that's why I pulled it out. Let me just unplug this so you can see the natural color of the plants. Another thing, um, I was tinkering around with my two by two with the sour squirts in there. And I went in and I realized that my uh, flower initiator was still on. So that's not good because that means it was on all night. So that's exactly what happened to my other tent. And that's why I got seated. The flower initiator stayed on for like at least two weeks, two, three weeks until I noticed. And sure enough, I had seeds. They weren't mature but i had seeds in the bottom buds so i'm glad i caught this i set a reminder for tonight to check all tents after the flower initiators go off which is 15 minutes after the main lights go off so i'll just make my rounds tonight i only got two tents this tent and then my two by two make sure that light is off these damn timers man they throwing me off they want to work sometimes they work sometimes they don't this one, I hate these timers because they're never on time. You you think you're setting the timer and then it had cut off 10 minutes before the main light. So it had cut on 10 minutes before the main light in the morning. So right now I got it 
Damn, so I think I had this messed up too. I had it cut off at five, which I didn't want. I wanted it to cut off my 30 minutes sooner just because it's not on the right on the right time. And then I had it cutting off at 4.30 instead of 5.30 or cutting on at 4.30 in the morning instead of 5.30. So right now it'll cut on at 5.30 it'll move its way around and then it'll cut off at 4 30 and this 10 is from five to five so and this is for the blue spectrum puck i think i'm going to go ahead and keep this in here just until um i don't know maybe that auto flower comes starts to pop up and then once that gets going i get some nice tight nose on there and i'll try to swap it out put it over here when I take clones for these plants uh, it'll be in the veg tent working on those so I might have to end up buying another blue pup but it's nothing that I need right right now so it's fine yeah man it's starting to look good like I said only problems I'm seeing would be with the banana blaze the tips a little bit but I mean I can't really do anything about that because all the other plants are taller than those and taller than that one and they're not showing any signs so i'm just gonna let it do its thing i raised the light like i said yesterday but yeah man nine nine ten weeks to go let's see all right i uh, got the lights all even got everything taken care of got that off. Looking a lot better, got everything rubber banded up. Um, had to leave that uh, driver in, but that's not what we're here. Got the auto, Chef Anna auto. Um, I thought I was gonna plant another one, but I think I'm just gonna let this go. And since it's over here, I'll train it to grow across the pot and then up from over here. Um, yeah, we, I'm just gonna see what one does in a 65 gal and then proceed accordingly the next round. I'm not sure if I would go with smaller plants or go with like a, a orange diesel in here, probably orange diesel if this does really well. But I went ahead and uh, spray with Mammoth P. Uh, so I go ahead and trim it and then I just spray the top with lemon just in case any of the thrips want to, I mean, any of the thrips survive. Uh, the predator is down below and they make it to the plants. They won't want to, you know, eat on them and they'll eventually leave. So just waiting on that auto flower to get a little bit bigger so I can go ahead and spray that a lot more. But other than that, looking pretty good. Once these plants get a lot bigger, I'll be buying more packs, more of these packs for the one for my plants at home and this pot. And shit for the for the galaxy brain as well. So maybe in like three weeks I'll be buying more more beneficial. So um, you know you gotta keep up with it or the bad bugs can take over. So I to deal with bugs and have fire weed and some part weed with steel you can still have bugs but <laughs> whatever man uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a little cup together eight ten ounces of Trinity mammoth pea uh, herb and then some recharge so I just go ahead and throw all that shit in and <laughs> water it in and because I sprayed already I probably just water right around the, the plant you don't need to top the water off the water is good so really i just came over because i forgot to spray the mammoth before i left the last time and then figured i might as well get those lights even but yeah this is a 
This will be trained that way, shoot up. Hopefully it takes care of the entire scrub. That'll be pulled out once it, you know, obviously gets a lot bigger. Um, and then as far as the lights, I saw why I had it uneven. So I, I had it like that because that was the highest I could place them. So over here, I had these hooks. There's this, I had this hook on top of where it was hanging from. I think it was just hanging from the top. And so, and that one as well. But over here, I couldn't find these anymore on Amazon, which sucks because these were perfect. But uh, they don't sell them anymore. So I couldn't get them for the next two pucks that I got. So, yeah, I rigged it up the way I did. And this driver, I got smart. I was able, what the fuck? Oh. I was about to say, why well, I got two drivers up here? They own separate drivers. <laughs> but I got smart and I was able to wire the drivers outside the tent. All of this stuff you already seen, but this is how it's looking right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the tent up because this is sitting at 26%. It's dry as hell down here. So in case, I guess that's kind of good for flour. But that's it for this one. Uh, Auto shop and auto flower in the 65 gal.